Welcome back to All and Law. This is a medical video lecture, microbiology. In this video, we're going to talk about the sign and symptoms. Sign and symptoms of Ebola virus. Why we're talking about this is there has been a recent outbreak in South African, what you call African countries, okay? So like Guinea, Liberia, Nigeria, right? So we're going to talk about this sign and symptoms of Ebola virus. So in previous two videos, we discussed about the pathophysiology of this virus and transmission, how it is transmitted from animal to human and from human to human, right? And in this video, we're going to talk about sign and symptoms. Let me tell you briefly about the virus, this virus. The flavi, what you call this Ebola virus, it comes from a family known as phylovirus. Phyloviruses. In the phyloviruses, we have two viruses, the Ebola and Marburg virus. This Ebola virus, in, it was in 1976, there were two major outbreaks of hemorrhagic fever in the city known as Zari and Sudan. Zari and Sudan. Okay. And the Marburg is a place in the Germany. Okay. The lab technician or the laboratory person who was working there, they got infected with this virus. Okay. When they were handling the, what you call the infected monkey kidneys or cultural tissues. Okay. That were imported from Uganda. Right, guys? So, that's a brief information. So, let's talk about the sign and symptoms. We have the early findings. Remember, the most important feature of this is what you call uh, the sign and symptom of this virus is they cause sign and symptoms similar to what you call a flu-like. Flu-like. Okay? Right, guys? That's really very important. So flu-like symptoms, okay. What's, if the person is infected with this virus, the what you call the Ebola virus, okay, within what you call two days to three weeks, he can develop what you call silent symptoms of flu-like or due to Ebola virus, right? From two days to three weeks. And it's a really very important to know because this, it is 50 to 90 percent of the fatal. It's 90 percent, 50 to 90 percent of the patients die because of this, right, guys? So we have early and the late features of this. Okay, so let me draw and uh, write. So first, the early is a fever. Remember, the patient will have the fever. Okay, we'll be having high fever from mild, moderate to high fever. Okay, even pharyngitis okay and rash could be there right especially seen in the white peoples okay and the bilateral what you call conjunctival injection okay in later findings what you call they include what you call bleeding and this is a really very important because it causes a hemorrhagic means the patient is undergoing what you call he's going to uh, heading to what you call a hemorrhagic fever right hemorrhagic shock and that's really very fatal guys okay bleeding from what you call the the, the mucosal membranes okay myocarditis pulmonary edema okay tachypnea hypotension anuria and the coma right so these are the important features of this what you call uh, um, this uh, Ebola virus infection okay so let's talk about this you know this fever even the patient can have in early flu-like symptoms, they can have headache, okay? They can have joint pain, muscle pain, abdominal pain, and even some patients experience vomiting, diarrhea, and loss of appetite, okay? And some other patients, but they are minor, they can have a chest pain also, okay? And trouble swallowing, that can also be seen, okay, guys? So, the other important, what is the, what you call the, the fatal, 
finding of this is the bleeding remember the hemorrhagic shock is really very dangerous in this okay all people infected show some symptoms of what you call circulatory system involvement including what you call impaired blood clotting okay right guys in the form of petechiae, purpura, ecchymosis, hematomas, right? Vomiting of the blood, hiccup, cuffing it up, okay? And a blood in the stool. So these are the very, what you call the sign and symptoms of uh, this uh, viral infection, okay? The survivors of Ebola virus disease have developed what you call the late manifestations, like they may have myalgias, okay? They can have asymmetric or migratory arthralgias, okay? Fatigue, bulimia, amnuria, hearing loss, tinnitus, okay? and uh, you know the parotitis remember okay guys so these are the important signs and symptoms and um, in the next video we're going to talk about the what you call the virology in detail regarding how the virus looks what are its properties okay and how it is prevented thank you so much for watching this video take care